Look how cool that is. Oh, this is the reason why we love getting out in uh, in the sticks a little bit. Just to be out in nature, see what's going on. Absolutely brilliant. It's mesmerising that, just watching the steam come off the water. And then slowly rising up and going over the top of the dam. So today we are off to somewhere near Seville. Um, again, trying to stay out of the way a little bit. So I found a little bit of a uh, picnic area or whatever to stay at. Um, we're not going to go to Seville. We did earlier this. Nah, last year. There we go. I can actually say it now because it actually was last year. Another good lake park up done. Oh wow, that was brilliant that one. Reservoir, lake, yes. same stuff. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No, that was lovely that and the um, the mist rolling off the water this morning. Oh, oh yeah, that, that was, was like cool. ethereal and everything. Ooh, Ooh, two ethereal. and a half kilometres. Turn left onto A389. Yeah, Yeah, we're on our way to Seville. Well, not really Seville. Seville? Seville, sure. Seville. Yeah. Um, We're going to no. the actual town itself. No, we've been there, we've been that last year. Yeah, and it's a bit too busy here, isn't yeah. it? For, yeah. So we're um, going to stay nearby and um, really the main aim is head towards Portugal. Yes. So that's a good find, you've got motorhome parking up there, loads of it. Look at this lovely rural location. Nice restaurant for the best bit, and you probably worked it out by the blue box that we're uh, currently parked in. Motorhome service point. Well, that was a bit of a find. It was, wasn't it? I do like the fact that they just have these uh, the signs that randomly, I mean, we're on a road with just farmland all the way around us. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there is a Area de Servicios para Autocaravanas. Well, it's lovely around here, isn't it? It is so different. I can't believe how different it is just by driving for, what's that, an, well, an hour? An hour, yeah. I suppose an hour is the difference between all those olive groves in the mountain yeah. and the sea, isn't it? So, yeah, true. Yeah. said we weren't going to Seville yeah. or Sevilla um, all the motorways have been blocked off and shut for whatever reason so um, yeah we're we'll also we're getting a tour of Seville yes from the comfort of the van I mean we have been to Seville before yeah. so if you want to see that click up there now and you can see Seville's in Seville's mm. you can see us <laughs> in Seville <laughs> yeah with uh, Greg and Lou and Dom and Rosie yeah. were with us there, so yeah. yeah. Well, Mandy managed to stop at a tat shop and get a postcard at least. Yes. Well, I'm sure we'll find our way out soon, although it's been a good 20 minutes now. Yes, we have to go We have to go in a little bit further Okay. before we can get out, just to pre-warn you. Right, in a little bit before you can come out, right, yeah. okay then, that's what she said. Rosas are probably saying, you idiot in your motorhome, when we're going right. All right, please. Right. Yeah. What you'll find in Spain is everyone will double park, whether they're going to be two minutes or twenty minutes. So he's probably gone so, in to get some bread. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. camper conversion. If I if it was any other time, I'd say, oh, there's Emma Lou. Yeah, because it's a Citroen. It's got a rear window. 
and side window but now that's neither M nor Lou uh, which I'm kind of glad of because it's not their van because if it was their van yeah the Spanish have taken it on board and re-registered it as their own yeah we'd have to go and kick some butt yeah we'd have to go and rob it off them we can do that we're from Manchester yeah we're, <laughs> <laughs> not that we've ever done that before no. disclaimer yeah <laughs> I think it's C motorway time. Continue time. on yeah. Avenger Expo 92. We made it, babe. We made it out in Seville. Woo. Sevilla. So this is an interesting one. This is a little lakeside park up that we found ourselves. And I think that was the lake over there. Yeah. It's horses in it. Let's check phone signal. I've just checked it. Instagram loaded instantly. Instantly, Graham. Instantly, Graham, yeah. <laughs> what we're cooking? Yeah. Chips. Ooh, to go with gammon and egg and egg and daddy sauce and tomato sauce brown sauce and tomato sauce nah. could have both nah. you do no disagree no <laughs> hi puppy how are you feeling pal if you notice this back paw there let's cover it up because he's got a little bit of a problem with one of his claws. You can say what it is, it's okay. All right, you tell him then. I trimmed his claws. I've only had the trimmers for maybe a month or so. And uh, typically for me, his front paw is absolutely fine. He's got one um, black claw on his back leg and I nipped his, um, his quick. Yeah. So, which it, cut me to the quick. Oh, it um, bled a little, didn't it? It did, it did. So he stuffed his paw in a tub of corn flour yeah. to help it seal and he's on a little bit of a, a bed rest kind of Light thing we're trying, to, you know, we're trying to make sure he's not running around like a complete knob which yeah. is his usual preference of course yeah. so I do feel a little bit bad I feel particularly bad of course um, but we're just being careful with him for a few days just to make sure that that doesn't start bleeding again and yeah. all the hard work and rest that he's done so far is yeah. wasted so yeah. yeah poor little pal Aww. hi puppy you can get better soon. Hey. Okay. Oh. oh yes. Well, you give yourself the popped eggs. Of course I did. Look at that, you heathen. You're putting both on, red and brown. Yeah. Uh, does look epic though. Mm, bit of gammon. Some nice eggs. Mmm, lovely chippies. Oh yeah. Thank nice. you. You're very welcome, Billy. They are both for me though, aren't they? Even though you've put food on them. Nope. How dare you. Mmm. Tip good. Yeah. I'm going to have some now. I could smell them actually when you were um, making them as I was flying the drone. Mm. Smelt like I was near a chippy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sign Mandy's used too much oil. <laughs> yeah. Aww. I think about us. I think about us calling. I think about us. I think about us falling. The dark night and through time Towards the light when you'll be mine I think about us, I know the dawn is for us I dream about us, I dream about the stardust I dream about us, I dream of how it started And how it's so connected to
lovely morning this morning. Really peaceful night's sleep here. Morning everyone. Morning. It's a very, very, very fresh but lovely morning. It is. I think sometimes I really like the mornings like this though when it's um when we've had the heating on in the van. Mm. Because it's kind of a dry heat, isn't it? You yeah. It really kind of gets to your face. Yes. So this is nice. It's like, whoa, wake up call. Last few mornings we've been having the heater on and then the roof vent open just to let a bit of fresh air in as strange as that might sound best of everything yeah. we, want, we want it all yeah well, it's really weird because uh, watching people drive across this what used to be lake and um there's a road there obviously and a bridge they flooded a valley so and people are vi <laughs> driving over the road you can see them going a bit slow and then you can see them get to the bridge and they're gunning it across the bridge because i mean would you drive across a bridge that had been underwater for decades or something? <laughs> Apparently this reservoir was built in 1987 and it was uh, filled to capacity within two years but now it's only about 30% capacity and we're at the far end of it so there are some parts of it apparently further down the valley that have actually still got water in them. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd have a look see if anyone said why it's sort of this dry or anything yeah, like that yeah. but um, yeah apparently oh my god Right, Mandy says we should have brought the van down here. <laughs> no. I've changed my mind. Absolutely not. Why well, was this? That. There's just been a Peugeot 206 down here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, get down, I'd do anything. But that's um, everything in the cupboards moving around and <laughs> not a cat and else chance we get back up there. That's no. really steep. So. Good call, though. Yeah. That's why I drive. Hey, <laughs> car driving would be uh, nowhere near here. Nowhere near here in a little car park somewhere, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is really steep just on foot. You better watch yourself. What do you mean? What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm accident prone or something. Yep, that's the one. How dare you? Mm. I do have the wrong shoes on. No, uh, you've always got the wrong shoes on. So, yeah, no reason what I could find of why it's um, empty. Other than the fact that um, most of the reservoirs we've been to lately are really low. Oh, and he's picking up rubbish. I wouldn't have been anyway. <laughs> Doing our bit. Right. So yeah, where we're at now, we've been under probably about 100 foot of water. Yeah, swimming. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it, that you come to a spot with expectations of, oh yeah, we'll have a nice spot, we'll overlook a lake, and then there's no water here. It's just, I don't know, I've just never experienced that. I expected, because of some of the places we've been to recently where the water level's been low, I expected there to be little bits of issues with, you know, like low water levels or something like that. Um, but nothing like this. Building behind me here, there's probably like a cafe or something like that and people used to come here for you know like we do and thinking like we'll get the kayak out <laughs> oh it's mummy's mummy going her bexing Ooh, a bit of pallet wood for a fire the bexing dog yeah maybe it was a hotel or something look like little rooms don't they mm, so not really a cafe it was actually a hotel then Very cool though. Yeah. And we're just tucked away down the corner there. So there's no road. There's that dirt track there. There's a car park there, which you get to via a dirt track. And as you saw from when we got here, there's a dirt track about two miles long. So we really are not overlooked anywhere. Oh, Aaron and Kelly. Well, your stickers peeling off. We're just around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Going on. Yeah. Cool. Right, food. Got another uh, thing I've nicked off the internet, which uh, I love seeing these little things, like my three minute pizza. Um, this is <laughs> very similar, but it's like um, a tortilla crunch wrap thing. You'll see. It, it's a folded tortilla with many different fillings in. But the way that they, um, the way that it's assembled is brilliant, and I love it. So, uh, so I'll have fun with this one. This is John's lunch today. So basically, tortillas, ham, chorizo, and cheese. Oh, 
and barbecue sauce. You get your tortilla and you cut it. I mean, I've got scissors, but you can use a um, pizza cutter and cut it into the middle just there like that. I'm going to put barbecue sauce kind of everywhere just to make things stick to it. Cheese there, chorizo there, ham there, a little bit more cheese there. So it looks like that. This is the magic part. You fold up, that one over like that, that one over like that, and then that one over like that. So you have all the layers folded up like that. I will stuff the extra cheese back in there because I mean, who wastes cheese? And then you can put it in the ridgy. So a squirt of barbecue sauce, again. There. The foldy bit. That one up there. That one over there. And that one down there. A squirt of oil so it doesn't stick, but it also helps it toast a bit nicer. And then you can get two easily in there and close the lid. As always with Ridge Monkeys, you have to keep turning um, to make sure that the filling is cooked through or melted if it's cheese or anything like that because they do tend to burn quite quickly so it's just a case of making it like an oven, turn it, turn it. See how much it's toasting already? I do love this mix that you get in Spain though. So you've got your quattro queso mix and it's four cheeses and it's really tasty but proper stringy, lovely cheese. That looks done there. And that looks done there. Right, let's get this out. Let's just turn that off. And there we go. Ooh, thank you. Mm. Very tasty. So what do you think the difference is? Much tastier than yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like New Year, New Diet or anything. It just needed eating. Mm. Um, mm, I like these. So what do you think about if it was... If I'd have literally just got all the ingredients and rolled it up, mm. would it taste any different having the layers in the middle? No. 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 But I think it's the neat little package it comes in. Mm. It kind of holds everything in, doesn't it, when yeah. you've had a bite of it? And it's not dripped or anything yet, so that's pretty good too. Mm. No. Winner, winner. Very simple little method. I like keeping it all separately. Um, so if I did it, I'd have like, I know hot lettuce is a thing, isn't it? But you get it in... Um, in wraps and stuff burgers sometimes as well yeah so i'd have like lettuce and then um salsa or something mm. you know and, and make it like build it nice like that i just like the fact that it's like a handheld snacky thing as well you can walk around with it remember those things we used to go to called meetups all oh, those meetup things yeah and then like you could go and chat with people mm. and could have a bit of lunch as you're walking around chatting people. So if I was to make you some lunch while you were stood congregating with all the people because you used to be able to stand next to people. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Um, all those other days. So if I just brought your plate of that out, it'd be fine. Yeah. Because you could just eat it. Yeah. Good morning again. And what another bloody lovely morning it is too. It's um, <coughs> chilly. <laughs> um, gets down to about minus four overnight, thereabouts. Um and then pretty much sun first thing in the morning and uh, till sunset at night no rain so I am not going to complain at all I know what this time of year is like in the UK so um, yeah minus four overnight is a small price to pay although speaking of price it does mean that we're almost out of gas <laughs> so uh, we filled up both 11 kilogram uh, refillable gas bottles about a week and a half ago so um, obviously it's getting pretty cold as soon as the sun goes down at night and um, we're having the heating on pretty much until the sun comes up in the morning then so yeah I guess for a week and a half of having the heating on for 18 hours a day because it gets that cold uh, with cooking and obviously the well one of the fridges runs on LPG and um, the other little fridge is the compressor fridge oh, it's just such a good spot it's just oh, it's lovely but yeah I think tomorrow we're off to uh, towards Portugal which I can't wait for actually could get used to this though 
The only downside last night is for about two hours last night, we were really uh, wondering what noise of an animal was outside and it sounded like it was crawling around the van or walking around the van. And after about two hours of looking on the monitors, going out with the torch and doing all that kind of stuff, we found it. It's a little ginger tomcat. <laughs> <laughs> had the really strangest little meow which is like a meh, eh, 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 kind of thing and um, yeah it was just going sniffing around the van and stuff like that so we were hoping it would be something like a deer or something like that but no, it's just a ginger tomcat which as soon as we went out to uh, let Koopy have his last pee at night that's how we found out it was a ginger tomcat I thought it was a fox at, at first through the, uh, the CCTV it looked like that but no just a very big cat as you can hear lots of birds in the tree behind me there but they don't wake up in the morning start chirping at 3 a.m. so that's all right there are no cockerels or dogs barking so that's all right and uh, like I said there's no road nearby or anything like that so just getting so much sleep I think my sleep app said I got Two hours and 50 minutes deep sleep last night. Get in. Can't argue with that. So yeah, let's get inside. Put all these clips together. And make you guys a nice little video. So, day three of this park up now. Which oh, is yeah. quite unique for us really. Yeah, we did say we were going to slow things down a little bit. And yeah. we have. And it's been um, it's been lovely. Yeah, it's been nice, hasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, stay here today. Get this video edited. And then we'll leave here tomorrow. And uh, head over to Portugal. Portugal! Yeah. It's about time. We've been heading there for like ages. But well, yeah. It's been nice taking our time. Mm. It's been uh, seeing so many things that I don't think we'd have seen if we'd have decided to rush here. Yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. Two months in Spain's been pretty good. Yeah. And the guess the turning point is on our way to Portugal from that point on. We're heading home. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah, <laughs> very slowly, yeah. like six weeks or something. But yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Good stuff. Mm. So, thank you very much for all your comments um, on last week's video. Oh, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Kept me busy. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but I've enjoyed the banter, has been rife. It's been brilliant. Yeah. And all your feedback has been amazing and, and very greatly appreciated. Absolutely. And all the thumbs up as well. We really appreciated all yeah, the thumbs up. Absolutely. And all the shares to social media um, because it does actually tell us you guys shared it a heck of a lot. Yes. So, thanks for that too. Yeah, it really yeah. does uh, make a massive difference. So, yeah. thank you so much. Um, people did ask, well, what is it about the views? And it is just the fact that we really like doing this. We want the channel to be successful. We want to be able to reach more people, help more people and, you know, travel a little bit more as well. So Yeah, and I think it's a bit disheartening when you put all a lot of effort and time into doing videos, which we enjoy doing anyway. Mm. And then you see the numbers going the opposite way. Yeah. And you think if it's just because people give us loads of good feedback, which is lovely. And then you think... Why is it then? Mm. And it's just looking at that 40 minute timestamp yeah. on the video. So, well, hopefully it's that. And hopefully. Yeah. I blame uh, Chad living the van life, actually. I had a bit of a, um, a brain fart. <laughs> and I went, Do you know what? I think it was Chad and his videos that are like really long. And he gets like loads of views and everything. So I was like, oh, maybe that'll be all right. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, but Chad's latest video did 40 odd minutes and he didn't even <laughs> he talk didn't even once. Speak. It was not, it was lots of uh, ASMR, yeah. which is good, but not one word was uttered. Yeah, true. Yeah, you're not going to get that with me in a video, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. then, well, I think that's enough from us this week then I think so well not this week but this first part of the week I've got to get used to that now yeah yes so yeah thanks very much yes. uh, we'll see you Friday we will take see you care. Friday guys take bye. care bye